Recognized. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Roskam, a member of the Committee on Ways and Means and a co-sponsor of this bill. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Chairman Royce, uh, for your leadership on this issue, and I'm rising in support of Mr. Russell's initiative. Last night, Mr. Speaker, there was, a, there was a murmur throughout the room here when the President was giving the State of the Union message, and I'm paraphrasing, but when he made the assertion that essentially the United States is perceived well around the world and, in fact, better than ever before, there was an audible sense of outcry. People were really concerned about that assertion, and then the president went on to make his point. But I, I, I think it is an admonition for us all to recognize, as Judge Poe said a couple of moments ago, there is a wobbliness in this administration. In other words, how many provocations are the Iranians able to move forward and the administration is inert? How many provocations can the Iranians push and the administration remains with no action. I'll tell you something, this is just off the news. Reuters is reporting that the uh, Major General Hassan uh, Firozabadi, the head of the Iranian Armed Forces, says of the naval incident that is being reconciled today that this should be a lesson to whom? To troublemakers in Congress. Troublemakers in Congress who oppose Iranian aggression. I think Mr. Russell's approach here is very common sense. It says those who've been complicit in sponsoring terror in the past ought not be getting the benefit of the sanctions regime being raised. They don't get the benefit of participating in that. This has to be certified clearly according to Mr. Russell's language, and it makes all the sense in the world. The notion that somehow the administration is incapable of doing this, I don't find persuasive. I think we need an administration that can make these certifications, that does make these certifications, and if they can't, then these terror financiers ought not be getting the benefit of sanctions relief. I urge passage of this bill and yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman